mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello everybody true, welcome back, I'm The Real Andy of Beret Hills and guys, it is time to talk about The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City because we have some iced tea for you, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel guys, do it right now, if you are new here and you want to join The Beret Troop, subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell guys, and let's talk about this mess because Jen Shaw is here to remind us how she is the victim and how every single person hates her and no one has her back and especially her family okay so apparently she is, I mean we saw a little bit on the last episode you know how she was crying to coach Shaw saying that you know, we have been giving so much. Like, we are such a great people. Why is nobody here? Why is nobody answering the phone? Why is blah, 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 blah. Okay? Um, so, this is the thing. Apparently, none of her family members, you know, want anything to do with Jen Shaw. And you know that she has been having a rough time with her family, okay? After her her dad passed away and there was... We, we saw... I mean, she, she talked a little bit about it on... Um, before she was arrested, you know, and she literally talked about her nephew, how she ignored uh, his family and and him for a while, and they were going through these huge like problems, you know, and uh, now they are trying to be in a better space and blah 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 blah, you know. So I'm thinking like, okay, I don't get it. Like, is she using this whole family thing so people get like? to feel bad about her um, when she literally has been saying before how bad she was with her own family. Like, honestly, you, this is kind of like karma, you know, like you, you, you get what you deserve at the end of the day, right? Um, she cannot expect people to be running after her with such bad, um charges against her okay she's literally being uh this is like like you know any huge criminal you know wanting every single person to be out there this is like erica jane pretending uh that the people that tom gerardi help at some point will appear and help him back it's like it doesn't work like that Okay. Second of all, I don't know about her, but me personally, I'm a person who likes to help a lot, like my family, my friends, like a lot of people, you know, but every time that I do something for them, I am never expecting anything in return. Okay. If you are doing a good deed, expecting something in return from them, then that's not a good deed at all. You are trying to, you know, make a deal, which is different. Okay. Okay. Make, making a good deed comes from your heart. If you help someone financially, mentally, like wherever, you know, you are doing it because you love them and because you want to be there for them, you know, but you never expect the same from the other people. I personally never expect anything from anyone, okay? If I have the chance to help people, I just do it, you know, and I go there, I help. I If they need money and I have money, I will give them money. If they need a hug, I hug them. If they need advice, I will give them advice, whatever they need, you know, but I'm never like keeping, you know, tabs, you know, I'm being like, hmm, December 14, I give him this money. No, you know, and then in the future being like, oh, I cannot believe that they are not helping me the same way that I'm helping them. It doesn't work like that. And and I think a lot of people need to learn that, you know, that it doesn't work like that. If you help people, you help them because you want to, but you will never, ever, ever expect anything in return. Okay. That's talking about when you when when you want like something stupid, you know, and like, you know, little things. Now imagine being charged of defrauding the elderly for decades. So you can have a lavish lifestyle and throw $100 bills at strippers. How do you want friends and family 
to say I'm just gonna you know not look at the information and I'm just gonna love you Jen because you are such an amazing person people need time need time to process to understand what is going on to see how this is going to affect them their families their businesses like what is she expecting that is going to happen? You know, how she she put in danger her kids, her husband. You know, how does she expect that her husband family is going to be like, girl, we got you. We love you. OK, it doesn't matter when, you know, because of her. Police guys were like literally taking the kids out of the house with these huge guns like that's like trauma for life you know so how do you expect like people are just gonna forgive everything you know and 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 be like yes we're gonna what do you need girl we're gonna be here for you no matter what it's just normal response she is right now on an island by herself and she needs to learn how to do that without keeping involving other people around okay because people won't want to be around that mess if she end up being innocent then yeah probably people are gonna have to come here and say you know what i'm so sorry that i was i wasn't there more for you but you need to understand the circumstances okay and i don't think that's something like too bad to ask like you cannot expect to to create all this damage this is not not even like one victim this is like hundreds of victim like literally the fbi has a million pages a million like i'm not even like exaggerating okay they it literally it says right there thousands and thousands it literally says a million pages that they throw of evidence of everything and victims and and things that she did for years and not only that, they are literally accusing her of being the head of the whole thing, which is even worse. It's not like she was like the little, you know, uh, messenger here who was, you know, or driving the car here and there. And she didn't know what she was doing. No, she was like literally here. So what else? I mean, look, girl, I mean. This is your battle and you're going to have to fight this battle by yourself. And if if you win this battle, then you're going to have to find in your heart to understand why people are acting this way. And you can, and she cannot be expecting anything from absolutely anyone. Anyways, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always... Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.